and now all the big horns calm down. That's good, that's good. There you are. Uh, have you been digging yourself into the ground while I've been away? I walk in. Why would you do that? Uh, you just dig yourself out and then come with me once you're ready, okay? I'll be talking to Fold Chuck about how I fix the whole missing car thing. That was close. Ran completely out of yucca banana. Or was it banana yucca? I don't know anymore. Um, oh wait, you're there. What can I tell you? No, it's not what you can tell me, it's what can I tell you. Whew. Glad to hear it. That'll be some happy mama, huh? Thank you. Really, it means a lot to me. Go with fortune, friend. Some new weaponry. Hmm. Yeah. It's a nice club and all, but I prefer she's embrace, which I already have. Anyway, um... Well, let's see if I can convince this guy that it's okay for him to leave. Alright. Oh, you got out of the dirt again. Good. And Joshua? I want to talk to you, if you don't mind. Welcome back. What can I do for you? I thought he might. It's been some time since I visited civilized places. I don't have fond memories of them. But I have always seen these places from the outside. I'd rather not influence him more than I already do. Why don't you talk to him? Follows Chalk needs more guidance in his life, just not for me. Okay. Caesar would never admit this openly, but he knows that I'm alive. I've killed enough of his frumentari and assassins that have come looking. I've heard one of them travels the Mojave as a courier. Most of Caesar's agents meet a fitting end in NCR territory. But maybe this one survived. Ominous. What do I know about this chieftain? He's a butcher. Believe me, I know the godless fire that burns in his heart. I've been burned by it myself. He's not the kind to let his subordinates do all the killing. No, he likes to have a hand in it. That spear of his. He's fashioned himself an abomination before the eyes of the Lord. I'm happy to serve as an instrument of divine justice. Hmm. Are you the leader? I wouldn't say that. I am the acting war chief for the Dead Horses. They look up to me for such matters, but I only have the authority they give me. Daniel is a spiritual leader and main link of the new Canaanites to the Sorrows. He's up in the Narrows right now. You mean right over there, right? Hey, do I have anything to trade? I need some extra money for some surgeries. We do. Though the White Legs destroyed New Canaan, they didn't destroy all of our supply caches. All forms of currency are recognized here. Caps, NCR dollars, even Legion coin. 
take a look. Will do. There, a thousand more caps for me. God be with you. Alright, let's go back and talk to false chocks. Alright. What can I tell you? Yeah? What did he say? I won't lie to you. He didn't say pretty much anything. He said that? Well, I guess you have been out there more recently than he has. So, what's your advice? Well, neither is perfect. And again, I don't think I'm the right one to judge. I like my civilized world. I respect the tribal life, but it's not something for me. You should see it for yourself. I advise you to come down and look at my empire. I can offer you protection and stuff like that. And I can give you a tour, show you around. See if you like it. Really? You think so? Whew. I'm going to do it. After all this is over, I'm going to go explore civilization. Dankney, Akis, I never would have had the grounds to ask him myself. Well, that was that. I believe that was it, really. So let's go back. Lots of back and forth right now. And I thought about this, and the Soros, they are in league with Caesar's Legion. They are genocidal, rampaging, killing people, you know. Stuff like that. And I believe that the best way to take care of bullies has always been to knock them on their asses. Father, I ask that you guide this man who is the vessel of your will. Show him the light of your wisdom and the peace of your love. Ah, is Daniel up there? Oh, it's the guy. Up there, okay. Just jump up there. Alright. Daniel? Daniel, my lad. Hey, I know it's raining and all, but don't you uh, don't you want some karma? You could get sick from that. Also, wake up. Unless you and Joshua have any objections, I'd like to start evacuating the sorrows. I'm going to need your help, so say your piece. Are you sure we shouldn't fight these guys? <sighs> no. Why? Why? Haven't you seen enough of what's going on here to see that the Sorrows don't need to butcher the White Legs for a piece of land? What Joshua wants is more than an attack. He wants a slaughter. He needs more than you and the dead horses to do it. The Sorrows can't be pushed into this. You and Joshua don't have the right to force them into it. Please, consider what I'm saying. You have the right to pull them off their land? If we want to talk about rights? I've already explained to them that we're leaving. They've accepted it. What is Joshua going to tell them about being a warrior? What are you going to tell them about how to live with themselves after they got lost in the moment? Killed someone who didn't deserve to die? Or does that not matter? Is that just an acceptable consequence if it means holding on to this valley? Maybe there is no place left in this world for mercy. But even if it tramples me into the dust, I will never accept it. And I will never condone it. Joshua must be waiting for you. I'll stay here with the others as I told them I would. You don't stop bullies by rolling over and running away. You stop them by punching them into the face until they stop moving. Thank you for this. I know Daniel doesn't approve, but destroying the White Legs is the only way to ensure the Sorrows can remain in Zion. You and I will lead a group of Dead Horse Warriors and Sorrows Hunters into Three Marys, from this position. Our objective is to find the White Legs' leader, Salt Upon Wounds, and prevent him from fleeing. Show no quarter to the White Legs we come across. Make no mistake about why we are here. This is an extermination.
I do not doubt that they will not show us mercy either. God be with you. So that'll be it. Let's go Old Testament on the asses. Huh. Well, good thing I picked one up then. Okay then, let's do this. I mean, it's nice and all if we could just be friends and uh, appease each other and all hold hands as in kumbaya or whatever. And First blood to our team. And that would be nice, but it well said it doesn't work that way. And sometimes fleeing or c rolling over is just going to empower the bullies and the madmen and whomever else is making the world hell. And sometimes the only real way to get rid of those people is to show them who's boss. And sometimes the only way to do that is to break some necks and kick some ass. Sad? Maybe. But that's life for you. We can't always do it the peaceful way, sadly. I mean, I respect the Daniel for his dedication to peace and all, but I just think this might be the better way because these guys are not going to stop. Oh, sure, the sorrows might be spared, but who's next? Damn it! Distract them! Oh my! You're good at this. Die where you stand! That was pretty impressive. Prepare to meet your maker. Jesus Christ, man! Are you sure you even need me to be here? Or is it just because, well, you want to share a bit with me? You're a monster, and I mean that in the best way possible. Christ, you're tearing these guys apart. Then again, I heard some rumors that you wear pretty cake ass, so I <laughs> guess I shouldn't be surprised. Mm. So far, we apparently only just killed some guards. Yes, we haven't been noticed by the rest yet. Good. What was I saying? Oh yes. Um, even if the sorrows and the dead horses get away, what's next? I mean, the white legs are just going to get after some other poor bastards who's going to get ripped apart, or they're going to join Caesar's Legion, whom I'm honestly is not willing to see get even more empowered than they already are. I love this gun. But yeah, somebody else is just going to feel the wrath of wild legs. If we subdue them now... Well, that will be the end of their threat to the whole place. Wow, there's another one up there. Probably notice his pal evaporating. Can't see him though. Just sneak ahead there and try to ignore that guy.
trailer park. Atriox can. Well, might as well rape the place. <laughs> 